Throughout my life, I've had a passion for using technology in a creative way that helps people. So when I heard about the work going on in rehabilitation robots here at the Telerobotic and Biorobotic Systems Group at the U of A, that really captured my attention for graduate studies. Every year there are 50,000 uh, incidents of stroke in Canada and currently there are 200,000 stroke survivors in Canada. Um, this creates a significant burden on the uh, healthcare system and also on the economy of Canada. Uh, therefore, there is a need to reduce the burden on the healthcare system by introducing robots that can augment the performance of uh, physiotherapists, not replace them. The literature clearly shows that a patient who supplements their traditional therapy with robot-assisted movement exercises can improve further and faster than they could with conventional therapy alone. My goal is to use the position and force data that the robot collects while working with a patient to measure and track the patient's motor recovery. This will supplement traditional motor ability assessments based on human observation with objective, quantitative data that is highly sensitive to small changes in motor function. Thus far, our efforts have focused on developing robot control systems and designing and building the sensors necessary for data collection. We have some promising preliminary results on using the robot to measure the mechanical properties of a spring array which simulates a stiff human arm. So the question now becomes, how do we map those techniques to the more complex system of the actual human arm? We've also developed a system to use the robot as a specialized computer mouse for individuals with involuntary muscle tremor due to a pathology such as Parkinson's disease. Our solution has been to have the individual use the robot as their computer mouse and then programming in to the robot um, some novel adaptive filters which can distinguish their desired voluntary motion from the involuntary tremor movements that are superimposed on top of it. This really opens doors as an assistive technology for individuals who would otherwise be unable to interact with the traditional graphical user interface on a computer. Working in medical robotics really is a rewarding field because you see the immediate potential application of the technology for individuals here in Alberta or in Canada or really around the world. And that is a great motivation to work hard in your research.